casually drinks water before we start the video. <laughs> hey guys, today I thought I'd make a Q&A video for you guys. So two weeks ago, I asked you guys to send me questions on my Facebook page. And a couple of you guys asked me some really good questions. So I'll be more than happy to answer them all today. And I scavenged through the comment section on YouTube to see if any of you guys have any awesome and burning questions you want to ask me. And so today I compiled all those questions and I combined it into a video for you guys. So let's get started, shall we? <laughs> Question number one. Why did you make all your videos private? So I made all my videos private on YouTube because of one main reason, copyright. So I know I can go into all this detail about copyright, but I'm gonna make it short and simple and sweet for you guys or else this video will be like an hour long. The reason why I made all my videos private is because if I kept them online and other sheet music publishing companies found my channel, then my channel would have a risk of getting another copyright strike and therefore I would lose this channel. Also, not only that, that's not even the worst part. I can technically get sued if anybody finds my sheet music. So I didn't want that to happen to me. And so I decided to close and get rid of all the sheet music that I didn't have permission to publish. Basically, I made all my videos private because I didn't want to get another copyright strike or sued. Question number two. Will you continue to upload sheet music to Google Docs? No, I won't be able to upload any more sheet music onto my Google Docs unless I have permission from the publisher to do so. So basically anything on my channel from now on, anything that I post will only be because I have permission from the original publisher. Question number three. Can you transfer your sheet music to a new channel? Nope, because again, copyright. Copyright rules still apply. Even if I make a new YouTube channel, if I make a new channel on Vimeo or Dailymotion or whatever video streaming websites are online. So I won't be able to make a new channel and upload new sheet music for you guys. So I'm really sorry about that. I will, however, only post sheet music that I do have the permission to arrange and transcribe. Question number four. What software and program do you use? So the main notation software I use for all my videos is NoteFlight. I use NoteFlight for anything transcribing related. And basically to put dots on a page, I use NoteFlight. To make the backing tracks that you guys hear, however, I use FL Studio. And for screen recording, the software I use to record my sheet music with, so you guys can see it, you know, <laughs> I used to use Snagit and Hypercam Studio for a really long time. The software was okay, but I only can record 15 frames a second. And you know, 15 frames a second is really, really, really bad. But it was enough to get sheet music going, so I used that for a while. But now because I have a new computer, I use the screen recording software that's built in my graphics card. And that software was intended for like 60 FPS video games and like, you know, playing all the latest games that you can screen record and publish it on YouTube. But I decided to use that software to record sheet music in 60 frames per second. <laughs> but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Question number five. How do you make your sheet music? Oh, this is a good question. To help me transcribe the sheet music, I have this thing called relative pitch, and it helps me tremendously when it comes to sheet music arrangements and transcriptions. So what I do is I listen to the song over and over and over and over and over, and oh, you guys get the idea. Basically, I listen to the song a lot. And with that repetition, I can have the melody somewhat in my mind, and I just put it onto my software that I use. And with the melody being looped over and over in my mind, it helps me transcribe the sheet music onto my main sheet music notation program. This is actually really hard to describe, by the way. I might look like an idiot rambling about how I transcribe my sheet music, but in short, I listen to the song over and over again, and I put whatever I'm listening to as dots on a page. Yeah, I hope that helped. I mean, I, I, there's no other way I can describe how I make my sheet music videos other than listening to a song on one end and putting dots on a page on another end. So <laughs> yeah. Question number six. How do you make your backing tracks? It goes a little something like this. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I made the backing track to the weekend song, The Hills. Let's get started. Let's start with some violins. Get some hi-hats. Get the kicks and the snares. Combine all that to make this. Add some chords. And who can forget the bass? Add percussion and sad chain it. Add a sample of somebody screaming. 
And if you followed all of those steps correctly, your instrumento should sound a little something like this. And that's how I make my backing tracks. And I know that's an oversimplification, but basically I listen to the song over and over again and I put down whatever I'm hearing into my DAW, which is a digital audio workstation, by the way. So to put this into perspective, think of making backing tracks as making my sheet music transcriptions, but with steroids. Instead of listening to only the melody and putting down the notes for the melody, you're basically putting down the notes for everything single part that goes into the song. From the bass, to the percussion, to the leads in the background, to the parts you don't even hear. Yeah, you guys get the idea. It's basically like transcribing, but except whatever you hear, you have to put it in there. And not only that, you have to make it sound exactly like the tune. To keep it short and sweet, all I do is I listen to the track over and over again, and I put whatever I'm hearing into FL Studio. And that, in short, is how I make some of the backing tracks that you guys are hearing in my sheet music videos. Question number seven. When are we gonna ever hear you play the saxophone? Oh, I don't know. I don't really play that well. I guess I could take out my saxophone and show you guys, so why not? There it is for you guys. I know it's not the greatest, but hey, whatever, right? <laughs> yeah, and that is me playing the saxophone. I'm not really good, but hey, whatever. And yeah, I mean, I hope I didn't make your ears bleed. <laughs> Yeah, and so that wraps up everything for this Q&A video. So I hope I answered all your guys' burning questions. And if you guys have even more questions, you guys can go down in the description into my ask.fm page where you can ask me tons of questions. I'll answer as many as I can. Or you guys can ask me more questions in the like, YouTube comments below and I'll try to answer them too. I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A video because I sure did. And if you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up so I know to make something similar to this in my vlog channel sometime in the future. And again, if you still want to follow me, all my social links are down in the description. Yeah. And that wraps it up for this Q&A video. So hope all you guys have a great rest of your day. And as always, peace.